Hello and welcome everyone to this Eagle IO training video where we cover the basics of navigating through the software. When you log into your account for the first time, you will see we provided you with some sample data that will help you experience the key features of the system. On the far left, we have what we call the workspaces tree. It's where we create new workspaces when deploying new projects. And in those workspaces, we create locations and configure their assets. It's a place for us to arrange and structure our data network. We're currently viewing on the map view. And as you can see, Google Maps is integrated into the system to provide an overview of our assets and their locations. As you hover over a map marker, it provides the latest data and a relevant site photo, which you can upload. Satellite view is also available. The next view is list, which provides four options underneath. Currently selected on locations, it's providing a summary of this location. And if any keynotes have been made about this site, you can see them here. By selecting sources, we can see what type of data source is being used to receive data, its status, when the data last arrived, and how many records came in under its last collection. By selecting parameters, we can view every parameter being monitored for this site and their latest values. If you'd like to configure alarm thresholds, this can be done on the far right icon. If you'd like to subscribe to alerts and notifications on that alarm, you can select the eyeball on the parameter you would like to follow. Alerts and notifications are received via email and SMS. The last option on the list is attachments. This is a place where we can upload arbitrary files and look through all our pictures via the image gallery. An example of an arbitrary file might be a maintenance report for the last site visit. Our third view is the chart. It allows us to view all our parameters and look at historical trends. If you'd like to customize the time frame of the chart, this can be done on the left via this icon. The data is slightly compressed by default, so you can take a selection of the chart, zoom in and see more data over that period of time. To select the reset zoom icon on the right here, it takes us back. All charts can be configured into different styles and color customized. If you'd like to save or print a chart, this can be done on the far right icon. Our third view here is custom. Custom charts. We provide two different types. Historic, which you can see here, which allows us to overlay multiple parameters for comparison. And we also provide Winrose charts. Our third view is events. It's where all the important interactions in your account get logged to create an audit trail, a place where you can see how and when things have changed and who was responsible. Finally, we have the dash. This is where we bring all our data together into one dashboard. These can be created via the tile selection that we've developed. As you select your tiles, and you size and color customize them to your workflow, you're creating a snapshot and an overview of your site and presenting all your different forms of data in real time. That concludes this training video. I hope you found it helpful and thank you for your time.